Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist. Today is yet another day where we will do some live project including all our learning. This is part 15 of the Bootstrap 5 tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. I have planned around 40 tutorials for you including some live examples and live project to help you. So far in the tutorial playlist we have learned about grids, we have done three live projects earlier, we have learned about navbar, cards, lists, tables, buttons and button groups. So today we are going to add and make use of all of these components to build a template. These, these live projects are intended to help you to learn how you can grow quickly, how you can learn to put together stuff and UI templates or design your own websites quickly. I hope they are helping you. So this is purely coding day. So there's no much talk or description or theory today. We'll go ahead and start coding. If you have any doubts, just let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Let's get started with our hands-on coding session. All right. So first thing, we'll go to our website and we will open the bootstrap documentation. I will go to docs and we'll copy the starter template as usual, right? So starter template is nothing but an empty shell of HTML which doesn't have any code. All right, let's go and create a new file. And what are we going to develop today, right? So we are going to develop this website called Xylo. I have found out this to be interesting and maybe a good candidate for us to try it. So this has a beautiful navbar, it has few cards, or maybe we can start with uh, say tables. That's what we have learned, right? So we'll try and replicate this particular website and see how much we can replicate to make it exactly look like this, right? So this has some navbar, title, some table. So this would be good candidate for us to learn, right? So let's get started and let's create our file and let's call it xylo.html. Alright, so now let's paste our starter template. We got the starter template. One other thing, Bootstrap also gives us few templates in under examples. So if you see under examples, you'll see the, some starter code templates that you can use. So here you have for navbar fixed, which looks like this. So just copy that code so that we have a quick start on our coding, right? So let's copy all of the code inside the body and paste it here inside the body <coughs> right okay and we also need some custom styling that because that's what it has added so that there is a fixed stop so we'll go here and we'll add style and we'll add the body style to it okay and last but not the least um, Okay, so this is all done. So let's see how it looks. Uh, and open with Chrome. Oh, right. So this is how our application looks, right? Silo. Beautiful so far. So let's customize uh, the look and feel of this. So we can take some colors and I have got some colors that we can use. Um, so let's see. Um, so this is basically the colors, right? So we can go and check colors and Bootstrap allows us so many beautiful colors that we can uh, use. So we can say palette, color, pa color themes, theme colors, right? So we have so many colors that we can use and we can select. So choose whichever color you want. Um, that doesn't matter uh, really. All right, so for so the simplicity sake, uh, I'm going to stick to the pr primary, right? So let's stick to that and I'm going to take this <coughs> or we can take green, right? That also looks good. So let's take this and go to our palette template. And this is blue here, but you can choose any color or you can select colorhex.com website to to choose your color right so if you are looking here it's looking like a little dark blue uh, so you can select the dark blue color that you want 
or you can you can just search here and say which kind of color you like okay choose get info so let's select this color <coughs> and then let's go here and say dot nav bar dark background color important and hash right so you have it I'm going to close this and let's refresh so you have the slight color change which looks good now right and then we are going to add a table right in the main content area so let's get started and in the main content area we don't need this here we are going to create a table so I'm not going to create don't create anything from scratch everything is available we just need to know how to use them we have to be smart enough to know how to use them all right so now let's refresh so we see there is a table right let's throw in a couple of more fields columns so it looks good let's add some data right and let's add two more headings okay so this looks much better now we'll get rid of this top we don't need this jumbotron or rather big div and we have our table instead uh, what we are going to do is we are going to use uh, the space for <coughs> adding our title okay so here we are going to add title and say uh, inventory right so we have our inventory so that's what is the title or we are calling it <coughs> applications I don't think we need padding of five uh, so we'll keep the right so we didn't we don't need that we just kept it say padding of two is good enough right so we have that here and then probably we might need a button here right so what we are going to do is in the previous example if you remember we have added that new contact and added few buttons so I'm just going to copy that code so that we don't repeat it okay all right so now we got here and instead of a button I'm just going to make it going to make it a h1 beautiful so now you see the page is coming together well right so we have the add new contact uh, h1 usually does a break right so that's why it's going instead I'm going to and here I'm going to Let's see how this comes up or I can use typography to break it I can make it four I can make it eight all right so we have the title here and not it's not add new contact it's applications here okay applications and then we can say instead of outline I can say primary and say add new app application and I don't need a button group really today right so yeah we don't need this we can just add a simple button all right so there you go so we have applications we have add new application we have the table now let's a uh, little bit maybe you see um, so this is how we are putting together our details you have our nav bar and we have our nav bar we have our details here um, in the search uh, we can add so this is how we are learning to use button tables nav bar card together and if you want we can also add some cards to show the spending list maybe let me quickly show you that and what we'll do is probably we don't need this here let's see how it looks without the background yeah it looks much better right and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a div 
class and instead we'll class equal to row and here we are going to say class equal to call three right and copy this right and here we are going to say spending and break say 10 million right again I'll show you this div cards in just a bit right so so see we can use these cards something like this that we can use um, I saw it somewhere here mm, I saw it somewhere here uh, like these right so we can see annual spend or something like this so this can be looked upon as a card that you want to use so let's go ahead pick a card like this right which has some value and some details so copy that and just put it inside this each of it we don't need an image really and style will remove right and link instead we just need some data here and we will say 10 million whatever that's spending rich guy right and then let's see how it looks so something like this a card right so now let's just copy the card multiple times <coughs> right so it looks much much better and I think PG light we don't need that instead we can put it to each of the cards let's see how that looks right okay oh sorry I should have put it to the card and not to the column all right so this is how you go about designing any templates that uh, are given to you using the components which are already available so you see we are using cards we are using buttons we have used table right so you see here now we have got four different tabs which are showing the spending we got the table we got this now you want some spacing so we can say class padding bottom four right so there is some space and between applications and this if we want we can say four right or we can say padding bottom four right so you see the gap here now it looks much much better so this is how you can go about designing any uh, any of these dashboard kind of templates I hope it's giving you confidence that you can see if you look here right if you look this is exactly what we were trying to do now we have this pending here so go ahead give it a try create your own template let me know how it goes in the next episode again I will do one live coding for you will take a new live uh, company website or a template and will start designing that website I hope you are enjoying if you are enjoying you can buy me a coffee at the given link below and I'll see you in the next episode where we'll be continue doing some more live project and live coding thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode